From News 5, here's your Power of 5 weather and today's top stories. Sponsored by Akron Children's Hospital. All right, happy Friday. It's going to be a brighter day today, but I tell you what, temperatures only make it back to about 38, maybe 39 in some spots. By lunchtime, we're only back to right around freezing, 32, maybe 33 degrees. So keep the coats on, keep the layers on, and through Friday night football, numbers just drop right back off to about freezing. Some spots in the 20s overnight tonight with maybe even a couple flurries floating around. Won't be a big deal, but we will still see a couple flurries flying around this evening and overnight tonight. The weekend looks dry, but we stay cold. Katie and Terrence here with your News 5 update. We're working to learn more about a massive gas explosion overnight in Pepper Pike. It happened at about 1 o'clock this morning on Brainerd Circle. Neighbors tell us crews have been out there working on gas lines. We could see some of the equipment on fire. After several hours, crews were able to turn off the gas. Several residents in the area had to evacuate. Police tell us, though, the good news here, no one was hurt and no homes were damaged. But right now, about 500 people living in the area are without power. There is no timetable for it to be turned back on. A move by Miles Garrett tainted the Browns win over the Steelers last night. With eight seconds left in the game, Garrett is seen ripping the helmet off Steelers QB Mason Rudolph and then hitting him in the head with it. A brawl ensued on the field. Now Garrett's future this season is really in question. The NFL will investigate. We'll let you know what happens, of course. Also keep in mind later today, we'll also be hearing more from the Browns. Today is the deadline for members of the United Auto Workers Union to vote on a contract with Ford. The plant say in Avon Lake and Brook Park both approved the deal. The contract includes about a billion dollars of investments between the two. A uh, new product is promised for Avon Lake by 2023, which could bring up to 1,500 new jobs. Building a better land by taking a simpler approach to probation. News 5's Kevin Berry explains how a new pilot program in Summit County is already helping offenders stay out of trouble. It's swift, it's certain, and it's fair. And Judge Amy Corrigal Jones says in its first few months, the SCORE program is working. It stands for Summit County Offender Recidivism Reduction, and it's a new approach to probation. Instead of a probation officer, offenders simply get a sheet of actions and their consequences. For example, missed or positive drug tests can lead to jail time right away. You show up, you get rewarded. You fail to show up, you're going to suffer a consequence. The program is funded by a grant that allows it to supervise up to 50 people considered likely to commit another crime. At the end of a three-year trial, the courts will figure out how this program performed compared to more traditional probation. In Akron, I'm Kevin Barry, News 5. We'll have another update for you later today. Until then, check the News 5 app for the latest on these stories and more. Sponsored by Akron Children's Hospital.